I'm Nate Adams, CEO and co-founder of HVAC 2.0. And if you're finding yourself here, you're curious about what it is, and you are also trying to find a way to up your HVAC game. So maybe you have a young team and you're trying to grow and you're looking for better processes so that you can grow more predictably and easily. Or maybe you've been looking at your sales numbers and you're like, why are my closing ratios and ticket sizes stalled? Or maybe while you're out there selling, you're thinking, boy, I feel like a used car salesman. I don't like who I am when I am with clients. And by the way, that's, that's a natural outcome of the typical sales process and what buyers unconsciously end up doing to uh, people in their home. Maybe you are just bored with your work. You've been installing the same stuff for years, and it's just not that fun anymore. Or, and this is a really big one, you are tired of playing the blame game along with the callbacks that come with it. So there's three different things that can happen here. One is you promised somebody that something would get fixed, and it didn't. So when you made that promise, you own it. So now you have to go do your best to fix that problem. Or maybe you get the classic, well, you were the last one that touched it and it used to work. And so then you have to do that. So that's another frustrating one. Or the third one is your client blames you for not solving a problem that they never told you about in the first place. So what are you supposed to be psychic? Um, and all of those lead to callbacks, which are expensive and frustrating, and they keep you from making money elsewhere. So you really want to eliminate those. So if any of those sound like you, here are the couple of things that 2.0 is really good at doing. First off, HVAC 2.0 can solve the toughest problems. You can walk into any house and know that you can both predictably and most importantly profitably solve any problem that a client has, no matter how hard it is. So it does the easy stuff and it does the hard stuff. No other system can do that. And this is because 2.0 combines HVAC on one side and building science on the other. So those two have to mesh to be able to fix anything. Because if you're only dealing with a box, you're only dealing with about half the system. While you're doing this, you will never feel like you are selling, which is really important. You will responsibly avoid responsibility. So rather than taking all of the weight, you are going to either shift some of it to the homeowner's shoulders so that you are sharing that responsibility, or if they insist on making a poor decision, you can educate them about that and shift all of the responsibility to their shoulders. And most importantly, you can have fun while making more money doing all of this. The curse is, it is a narrow path. So it is, it's narrow and it is dangerous. So it looks like this. If you come off the path, you're going to fall to your death. So if you were looking at a path like this, what's the worst thing you can do? To run headlong without control down this so that you can fall off to your death. Don't do that. We have carefully and meticulously over the past almost a decade mapped out what this looks like. Here's the map. It's overwhelming. There's a lot. But if you follow all of these steps in order, you will get to some really amazing results, which is what our growing network of contractors is finding. The critical piece to this is small steps. So if you try to take any really large step, it's really hard to do. So one little step at a time. This is good for you. This is slowing down for you. This is slowing down for the homeowners. This is slowing down for your employees. But very important, this is not for everyone because you have to be willing to stay on path. If you don't, this is what happens. Building science is a great way to go out of business. Ask me how I know. Um, I won a Department of Energy award with my insulation contracting company back in 2012, and I closed the company the next year because I had squashed my margins trying to do better work than I could charge for. If you want to avoid that, you have to stay on the narrow path. You have to stay in your lane as you go through all of this. We say the process is sacred. This is why. So. You may watch this and think that none of this is interesting. And if that's the case, great, you are done. 
If you're a little bit curious, you can watch some testimonials and see how it has changed the lives of our growing network. Or if you are thinking, boy, I want to know more, keep following the series and go from there. Have a great day. I'm Nate Adams. I'll see you on the next one or not. Either way, your call. Bye-bye.